Hey Doodle Fam, it's Aaron here and Langdon. You might not recognize him because he got a haircut. So Madison said he did such a good job at the groomers. She said he was the most well-behaved six month old puppy that she has seen in a long time. We love his new haircut. He's got a new style. Having him here with us has just been so enjoyable. The girls have really enjoyed um, having a younger dog around again. And so they, they're really pushing us to get our second dog <laughs> so Bella can have a sister. Um, but we're having a really good time with him. Just a couple of fun facts that we have figured out about Langdon is that number one, he loves ice cubes. So anytime the girls or me are filling up our water bottles um, and we open up the drawer to the ice, he runs on over and wants an ice cube. And then second fun fact is he loves to play fetch. So we have been doing that nonstop, whether it's in the house or outside. Um, any toy, any tennis ball, he loves for to, to throw. And then a lot of times he'll bring it back, but sometimes he'll just sit there and throw it himself and play. So he has done a really good job of just transitioning to our house. So some exciting news is we are, hey Langdon, Langdon, come back. Good boy. So Langdon tonight is going to go meet a potential family. So we have been overwhelmed with the amount of applications and support that you guys have given us for Langdon. Uh, but turns out that we have had a little bit harder of a time matching him with the perfect family because he can't fly. So he is over 25 pounds and our normal process is for Logan, our flight nanny, to come get our puppy and then they can just sit like right under or right at the seat in a pet carrier. Uh, but you can't do that if you're over 25 pounds and Langdon is, so <laughs> it's just not gonna work. So we need to find somebody that's a drivable distance and we think that we have found that family. So they have a standard golden doodle, so Langdon has potential to get a new best friend tonight. So we'll keep you posted how that goes. Uh, but Frankie has gotten here. She got here last week. We didn't even have a chance to show it, but she has been on puppy watch. Her puppies were due on Monday, but they decided to come on Saturday. So we are gonna put their collars on and I just wanna show you guys those new little babies. So Langdon, you stay here and I'm gonna go see Frankie's babies. Hey, Miss Frankie, how are the babies doing? So guys, Frankie had all of her babies on Saturday evening. So she started in the afternoon and then progressed into the early evening. Took her about four and a half, five hours um, to have all seven. So we are gonna put their collars on and then we're gonna see uh, whether they're boys or girls and just kind of talk about our process of connecting with families and just how all of that works. So let's see if we can find our first one. All right, I think I picked the smallest. So this is a girl. So she's a really pretty girl, apricot colored and uh, very curly. So we're gonna give her purple. So this is Frankie's third litter and she is a pro at handling these babies already coming out to hang with us and to go to the bathroom. She hasn't been ready to go on a walk just yet, but I know that that's coming up. And her family is super sweet. All right, let's put you back. So she lives with a retired couple. They've got lots of grandkids. All right, let's see what this one is. This is a girl, she is really chunky. Also curly coat. <laughs> We're going to give her hot pink. And so Frankie's parents love the Guardian program so much that they are actually going to keep one of Frankie's girls. So Frankie and her daughter will live at the same house, which I think is awesome. And so through the next couple of weeks, as we see which one we think will fit into our breeding program the best with temperament and uh, size, then we'll see who we pick to keep in the program. 
Let's see, this is another girl. Also a really curly coat. A little tongue sticking out, it's cute. <laughs> All right, let's give her light purple. There we go. All right, let's put you back. I love how calm Frankie is. She's just relaxed, lets me take the babies, do my thing. All right, we have another girl. <laughs> this one also is pretty curly, that dark red color, which I love. I like the apricots too, but my favorite is the red. And you never know who's gonna give us that red color. So some of our darkest ones have come from moms that were light colored just because it, they call it, they carry that gene. So in like the human world, you could have two brown haired people, but they produce a blonde headed child. So same thing, we could have two light colored dogs and they could produce the darkest pigments. Let's see, this one doesn't have any. Ah, look at this, this is little white paws. And a huge white chest, this is a girl. You got a little white chest. All right, we'll give you yellow. And so this week has been pretty exciting. Molly went to the groomer. Langdon went to the groomer. So we had a lot of haircuts going on. And Langdon looks so good. You guys saw him earlier. Molly just needed a little touch up. They did like a facial trim and a good bath and a good washing. But she is getting ready because her families are coming on Saturday. All right, we got another white chest and a boy. We finally have a boy. So we got white paws on three out of four of them and a little white chest, which is really pretty. And he's a good size, he's a chunky one. All right, we're gonna give him green. But Molly's families are coming on Saturday for their puppy picking. And so we gotta get all of that ready with their personalities. It's okay. Shh. We'll kind of do their um, personality assessments. And you guys have seen like all the sound stimulation and stuff like that. So we're gonna make sure that we take notes on that and get ready for those families on Saturday. All right, we need one more. Aha! Another really curly one. And another boy. It's our last one, little boy. He has a little bit of white on his chest, but not as much. All right, he's gonna be blue. There we go. All right. So now we can put him back, and then we can write down all of our colors and then we can get our weights going. So we want to make sure that we track these weights so that way we make sure that everybody is gaining. So that's the most important part of monitoring them at this time. It's taking care of Frankie, making sure she's eating enough, making sure she's drinking enough water to support these babies. We don't want her to lose weight. We want her to stay her healthy physique, her healthy figure. Now that we have them all collared, we are going to start weighing them. So we're going to start with Miss Aqua. Make sure Frankie doesn't tip the scales. All right, six ounces. And then we'll write that down. Okay. Let's see who we can do next. We'll do light purple. She looks a little smaller. Yeah, five and a half. So not too much smaller. All right, we're gonna go to pink. I think she's our chunkiest girl. Seven ounces. She is definitely our chunkiest girl. All right. And dark purple. Hold on, thank you. Oh, 
we got somebody smaller. Five ounces. All right, where is yellow? Well, we can do green next. Seven and a half. <laughs> Come back here. Right now, who do we need, Frankie? Nope, that's pink. Blue, here we go. Mr. Blue. Already vocal. Six and a half. All right, we just need yellow. We gotta find her. Ah, she's up here by Frankie. Here she is. All right, five ounces. Okay, so yellow and purple are our smallest. And so what that means is that we just want to make sure that they have some, maybe some individual nursing time. It's not to the point where we would want to do like bottle feeding or anything like that, like we did with Miss Paint Collar um, from Zuri's Litter, but it's just something that we want to monitor and to make sure that they are continuing to gain weight. So we always like put little calendar reminders in our phone that says like, check on purple and yellow, like a couple of times throughout the day just to make sure that we come in here, that they're on a nipple and that they're nursing and making sure that they get a good amount of food or milk. Um, so some other really exciting things is uh, Pepper is coming next week. So we are gonna be having some more little babies in the house. Luna's and Molly's are gonna transition to the next phase of their uh, nursery so that way they can have more room to run and to play and for us to start working on those other uh, stimulations like going up and down the stairs, uh, climbing on uneven surfaces, going through tunnels. So a lot of fun updates are gonna be had. We have very happy news. Uh, we have found the perfect family for Langdon and they are actually local. So he is gonna be staying in Burlington or right next door at Gibsonville. Um, it was when he was getting a grooming that this family uh, inquired about him uh, with our groomer, she gave him our contact information and we were just able to make that match. Um, and it's perfect. They are a older couple. They have a doodle already. Um, his name is Oliver and he is 90 pounds. So he's a standard golden doodle, just like Bella. And so Langdon is gonna have a new best friend. They actually are gonna rename him Benny. And so it's gonna be Benny and Oliver and they're gonna be great friends. They get to go on boat rides together. They have um, a college age son. So I'm sure he's gonna come home and play with Langdon or now Benny. Um, and we're just really, really happy. And then the other really great perk is that they have done training at Dogtown too. So it's just perfect. So it was just a match made in heaven um, because that's where Langdon went and did his training at with us. And so they'd use the same cues, the same techniques. And so they're just ready to transition from their first doodle to Langdon and they can just build and have just one great family. So we are super excited about that. We will keep you posted. I'm sure she's going to send us lots of photos, um, of the two of them together, especially with their life jackets on on the beach or at the lake on their boat so we're very excited and we're so glad to found this family for him